Say hello, YouTube. Say hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another bow hunting video. Uh, this is going to be a series of hunts that Steve and I were going on while it, Matt and Amber were hunting together. Uh, Steve and I were decided we were taking climbers and we were hanging and hunting in random locations where we were either seeing deer sign, uh, deer feed, and in this uh, specific spot that we're hunting here, it was sawtooth acorns with a few small scrapes. Uh, no big scrapes, so we weren't sure. You know, well, we were pretty positive there weren't any big boys in there, but we weren't sure what kind of bucks were in the area. Um, we had two beautiful pine trees that we got I me mean, straight as can be, uh, real solid, big and round, and zero limbs all the way up to about 25, 30 foot. So we climbed those, and man, it, I mean, we couldn't ask for a better setup. Except, uh, I had plenty. I had opportunities to take me a doe, and you know, my I needed. I, what I do every year is I try to put me two to three does in the freezer for me and Sam, so we can eat on all year till the next deer season. Along with trying to get big boy. Everyone's trying to get big boy, but every time you know. We were our trees that we were set up on were a good 10, yeah, somewhere around 10, 15 yards apart from each other. Probably more than that. I'd say it was closer to the 15 yard range apart from each other. And every time I had a clean line of sight for a good shot, Steve couldn't get a good shot with the camera. It wasn't working out. We end up going on another hunt, but in between those hunts, Steve goes back to his stand where he killed his big boy in the last bow hunt video. And guys, I never laughed so hard in my life. He, he gets back to the truck after our hunts and he's like, man, my hunt got ruined as soon as I got in there. He was climbing up and noticed a couple wasps flying around. Didn't think nothing of it. Got on, got in the stand. He kept hearing them buzzing, and then when one landed on him, he said it was over. He started climbing back down and noticed, like there was like a hole in the tree, and he said wasps were just landing on the tree and climbing in the hole. He said it was it was infested with wasps. So he he got super sketched out. I mean, it's a lock on 20, 25 foot up with steps, and you have to literally put your hand right by wasps. Nah, I ain't fooling with that either. But, so he got sketched out, but, and had to sit on the ground. Real cool hunt though, because he actually got to see this right here. Uh, nice little basket rack, eight point. Uh, highly potential, got a lot of potential in him. If he can survive and make it a couple more years, he's definitely going to be a shooter. Uh, this is a close encounter right here, some amazing footage. I'd have been fired up if that was me sitting right there that close to a buck. I mean, young buck or not, I mean, the encounters are awesome. We live for the hunt. I mean, that's I could have easily shot that doe that day, but, you know, we just enjoy being out there. The hunt where I was finally able to put me some meat in the freezer. Uh, everything was working out perfect. I mean, it, the only bad thing was it was a very calm morning. The deer that we saw, we only saw three, no, we saw four deer that morning. And they were all just really peculiar, you know, being cautious with what they were doing. What we ended up doing this hunt is we climbed the same tree together. He he climbed above me and then I sat up underneath him to where he could just film a straight angle shot. And then I was just a little to the right below him because I'm right handed and I shoot left handed. So I was shooting into the sawtooths. Um, farther shot would have been about 45 yards, but beautiful 20 25 yard shot or holes for a perfect shot you know my max I want to shoot is about 30 yards that you know I feel comfortable shooting so y'all enjoy the video here we go
Well, my first hanging hunt trip success. Um, me and Steve, we've been hunting. We've been seeing plenty of deer, a bunch of young bucks. I couldn't get any footage after the shot because, I mean, it didn't take long. We knew I had to come down and put a second shot in it. And I didn't have, I wanted to do it as quickly as possible. So we climbed down, got a second shot in her. First time Steve and I have ever experienced having to shoot a deer a second time. And boy, it's something I hope no one ever has to experience. That was rough. But um, we're down. We're about to go over here, get her, get everything loaded up, check this big old nanny out. Mm -hmm. Well, here she is, big old nanny. Sam's going to be super proud. We got some meat in the freezer. Uh, this was, I mean, this one of the biggest nannies I've ever killed. Um, shot was 27 yards. I put a 20 yard pin dead on her. And we're going to have to go back and watch the footage. But from what Steve said, he said he could tell that deer ducked a good bit and then just froze when I made contact. But nonetheless, we out here hunting, getting meat. Can't beat it. Let's get everything to the truck and we'll see y'all next time. One, two, three. Ooh. Big old man. Big old nanny, baby. Back in the game.